हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो सो यू गाइज माइट बी नोइंग दैट माई डी जे एम इनी टू रिसेंटली क्रैश इन टू द सॉल्ट वाटर एंड आई डि नॉट एक्चुअली न्यू वॉट आर द स्टेप दैट वी कैन फॉलो टू रेस्क्यू आर ड्रोन फ्रॉम द सॉल्ट वाटर एंड हाउ वी कैन सेव आर डी जे एम इनी टू फ्रॉम गेटिंग कंप्लीटली डेड सो इन दिस वीडियो आई बी कंप्लीटली गिविंग यू द स्टेप्स दैट यू हैव टू फॉलो टू रेस्क्यू योर ड्रोन एंड मेक श्योर योर ड्रोन विल नॉट गेट अफेक्टेड विद द सॉल्ट वाटर so without wasting much of the time let's quickly get into the video guys so guys if you are not aware how my dji mini 2 crashed into the water then i'll mention the video link in the description and the i button you can go check out the video where you'll find how how i crashed my dji mini 2 into the salt water and what was the reason uh, why the drone got crashed and what happened to the drone what was the status of the drone that all you can get from the detailed video so guys let's quickly start with a point that you have to note when your drone is crashed into the water firstly guys when your drone is crashed into the water whether it's a salt water or any normal water you have to firstly remove your drone from the water so first important thing is as soon as possible just get your drone out of the water that should be your first concern guys you should not keep your drone for a longer time into the water so first important thing do whatever that is possible and get your drone out of the water second step that you have to follow just open the back door don't keep on checking all the stuffs or entire thing just open this back door remove the battery from it so that will be your second step don't worry of any other things don't worry about the motor don't worry about what happened to my gimbal don't keep on watching that so this will be your second primary thing that you have to do third important thing that you have to do is if you have any uh, normal water which you drink or if you have any distilled water around you please get that one and immediately rinse your drone with that water means you have to put your put that water normal water into this part this motors gimbal part completely we have to rinse with a normal water only if the drone is crashed into the salt water if it is crashed into no, uh, normal water then there would not be a necessary thing to rinse with a normal water but mainly if it is crashed into the salt water make sure you are rinsing your drone with a normal water with a normal water all the dust particles or the salt particles or the salt water that will rinse away from the drone and that will go off and that will save your motherboard and circuits not get rusted and uh, it will be safe as much as possible so you have to pour all the normal water on all the parts of the drone and make sure your drone won't get rust fourthly you have to after rinsing the water fourthly you have to keep your drone in a sunlight or you have to blow some air take out all the water that is possible from your hand so make sure you are taking out all the uh, water from the drone as soon as possible by blowing air or keeping the drone in sunlight so that will be your fourth point fifthly when you reach your home you can easily find rice or uh, where you can find a silica gel so simply you have to take 2 kg of rice or silica gel and you have to take it in a bag you have to close this door you have to put your gimbal make sure you are putting the gimbal you have to put the gimbal you have to fold the arms you have to wind the drone with the thin cloth and keep it in a rice bag or the silica gel bag you have to keep this drone for around 3 to 4 days in the silica gel or the rice so after 3 to 4 days then you can take out your drone you have to just clean all this motors and all the gimbal parts everything you have to clean with the small brush which we get in the market so simply you can blow air and clean it or either you can use a normal soft brush to clean all the gimbal parts and uh, motors that are present on the drone after that most important thing is never use the same battery that was crashed uh, in the water so you have to never use that one you have to use the new battery that you have with yourself so use the spare batteries or the extra battery that we have with the drone so insert that battery and try to turn on your drone so with this there is a high chance that your drone will be turned on without any issues if you still find any issues after following all this procedure then there will be a minor issues like uh, some ic will be blocked or uh, there will be a some gimbal overload issue that's it guys other than that your motherboard or any major uh, problem will not be there so you have to 
keep these points in in your mind whenever you are flying your drone above the sea level so that's it for this video guys i hope you have liked this video and found this video informative if you guys found this video informative do it a like button and subscribe to the channel we'll meet in this video till then take care bye bye